Hi everyone, this is James from Omega TV. I'm here with uh, Great Nature Stripe Deck Profile. Uh, I have the Great Nature Legion Deck Profile up ready, so go take a look at that. This is the Stripe version of it. I'll go with the starters and good trees, then I'll go from there. So for the starters, I use the Parrot. Okay, so the Parrot has a 4 under skill, and uh, the other skill is you may move into the soul and choose a unit and when it's retired during your end phase you get to draw a card. So it kind of uh so it does uh replace one of your units that's about to die due to your uh retiring effects. So and also this doesn't need GB like the pencil koala and all that. That's why I, I I prefer this over the uh the pencil koala and also this doesn't use counter blast and since this is that you everything uses one counter blast and you activate more than one in fact, the Count Blast is a bit tight in this deck, so I think it's the best choice for me. Next, the Great Tree, great tree is, it is a strike deck, so you gotta have the Break Strike. Uh, I have four uh, Big Berries. So Big Berry has two skills, his first skill is uh, GB2. Skill where uh, he gains, uh, effect if GB2, during GB2, when he attacks, you get to give uh, a Great Nature unit 4k. End of the then retire it. So it's the, the generic but miraculous tiger effect. Uh, you don't want to use this effect because it means that you're really really not optimizing the deck. You want to use it for its break right break strike skill. When uh strike you G uh, G unit strikes over it, you may count plus one and choose two green nature units to give four K power and also the skill. Where when if they are if they in the same column as that unit. If uh, an attack occurs that uh, is 20,000 or more and it hits the vanguard, you get to draw a card. So it turns your columns into all into on, on hit draw columns, which gives pre early game pressure. Maybe your, you might, your first strike, you might have targets for this to so use it, and your opponent might not want, might want the damage so that they can counter blast or what. But uh, this gives your opponent uh, a choice whether to let you draw and let them have damage or not guard to or have a bit more hand or guard and not have the damage however one thing i don't like about big berry is uh, all this happens during the strike step so that means that you must have units to survive the turn if you do not have units to survive the turn it doesn't matter that you have color blast or what you have no targets so that's the only thing i don't really like about big berry but other than that he's a very very, very he's a important part of the deck the next great trees I run a uh, tree taskmaster. So taskmaster it has a GB one once per turn skill, where uh, when it attacks, you may count blast one and stand a unit, and give it four thousand power. So this is a very very good effect, since in this deck you have uh since you already have you have on hit skill, on hit skill. So if you are able to swing one more time after the restand, it gives you a higher chance to uh, be able to pull off the hit skill so I run this over the tiger uh, I run this over the, the tiger legion because in this deck you want to strike you don't want the legion because strike and legion they kind of compete so uh, I, I, I have the I would prefer to focus all on strike and have this as a regard to boost my chances with the strikes effect of a uh, glory maelstrom so I only want seven great trees next the great tools I run four Crayon Tigers. Crayon Tigers have the same effect as this, just that uh, it needs to, has an extra condition where it needs to be boosted. And when that, that unit that you withstand uh, is retired, you get to draw one. So it replaces that unit and doesn't minus you one, um, which is good. However, it needs the boost. So uh, that kind of makes it even. But I, I really like this since it lets you draw. And um, other thing is that uh, it is uh, both of these have a, a, a once pattern, so you just can't keep uh, standing forever. I feel, but I do like this since you're having glory maelstroms and on hit effects, so being able to stand uh, columns as many times as, possi as possible is very good for the deck. So that's your aim of the deck to want to uh, utilize the restandings and the glory maelstrom effects to. Um, basically nullify their hand, make, make their hand useless, they might have a few perfect guards here and then make, make those useless so that you can swing it for damage and draw but mean draw in the in the meantime. Next the uh, great tools I also run three set square penguin. So set, set square penguin is a dark bill clone in the sense that uh on call 
you get to give a unit uh, a skill where when it retire you get to draw one and unflip one it is an extra unflip however it is a GB one so you have a condition of GB one it makes it a bit slower than dark build so in your early game you are you this in your hand is about as good as a vanilla in your hand so either you keep it in your hand or you ride it or whatever if not it is just really dead in the early game but late game together with your uh, rare strike your phoenix this comes as a good way to uh, 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 give you a way so that you don't minus off the phoenix la. so at least you at least it makes you at least to break even and get to unflip damage maybe don't put that one damage from uh, big berry or wherever you, you, you use counter blast for so I, I don't run too many of these three only but you need the 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 the, the replacing draw for the deck uh, because since you a lot of this the deck uh, focuses on retiring so next I run three binoculars tiger and three tapir they both have the effect where when they attack the vanguard you get to give uh, another unit 4000 power however there are, there are differences in uh, between these two so for binoculars tiger it has a uh, it's a vanguard and rearguard skill so on grade on the uh, turn 2 when you write this as your grade 2 when it swings you are already able to give 4k power which i think is good since uh, you have your starter which you can use to uh, not minus yourself early game oh, from this uh, these effects however uh, there is still we have tapir now tapir is it still has the effect when it attacks you give 4k power however it has resists so as a rearguard this is very 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 important against decks like uh, what Link Joker, Kagero, and Narukami that 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 choose this to try and choose your retire all those. So this gives you a higher chance to have targets for Big Berry. Um, other than that, I I, I I really I run six of the clones because I want to have my early game bot presence, uh, be big. So I want early game. I want to be able to deal damage since my strike units give me a Glory Maelstrom Guard Restrict ability. Uh, if they are at low damage, they can just take it and it doesn't hurt them as much So I want to deal a lot of early game damage So that's why I have all my this as my early game boosters And if I am able to put it on a regular early game, which is good for me So I run a mix of them, so I'm able to get them both on the field if I am lucky enough Next, I have uh, great ones, I have perfect guards You need to upgrade perfect guards because you need that you, as I said, you can't blast a lot so being able to uh, regain that encounter blast is very important for you to uh, go for a finishing push with your strike. Next we have the staple of any great nature deck, we have Dark Bill. So Dark Bill, it, it has the effect where on call you gotta give a unit a skill where when it dies you gotta draw one, which is basically a replace. However, the good thing is that you can stack this to get the penguin and the tiger to draw multiples off of one card. So you don't you kind of plus in that way. Where one unit dies, you get to draw three or all the other snares. Also, this is a, a, a old card, so it doesn't need any GB1 restriction or limit break anything. So it's a very, very quick card. That's so why I, I like this together with Binoculus Tiger as my Vanguard on turn 2. So whatever I kill off with Binoculus Tiger is replaced with this. And it can still be a booster. So uh, I really, really, really like this the new 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 build especially with tapir now next uh you run the big berries so you need to have the small berries so mini berries uh, these are the generic uh, it's got for strike cost strike called great plus two and the uh, uh, reveal great tree search however in this deck uh sometimes other decks they just call this as a booster or if they they, they go uh second they can call this as a tacker uh I do I re, I think that you do the same. However, since you're able to power your regards up, I usually throw all my power into this and have uh dark wheels on this, my starters on the effects on this. So uh not only do I get what the great tree that I need, I I'm able to uh force more guard or deal damage to my opponent, which is uh good for the whole winning image of the deck. The last great one, one, one taping cat. So taping cat is a generic. So on call, so blast two, draw one, uh, clone, clone. So, however, uh, this deck it has a bit more purpose other than being five k and boosting the uh, strike vanguard. So, uh, what it 
role in his deck. Also, everything is about a bit more early game in this deck. So it's five k. So that means any power, any four k power will make it nine k, and able to hit a a a, a great a great two vanguard. So early game, uh, you are you already have two souls since your starter moves back into the soul. By the time you re you write your great two by ho hopefully by Oculus Tiger, you have two souls to call this and have this replace itself by having a draw. And uh, after on you can have your four K stacks onto this, so as to be able to uh this be able to start whacking or swinging at your vanguard. And you can have uh dark bills or that power boosting all this just to make that one column force your opponent to take their damage. So five k in this deck is a good number too, since four k if it makes it attack but uh, uh makes it a legit attacker. However, I don't know one because this deck you it's not a legion deck where you always have soul because you are legioning. Is that you barely have any soul since not none of them go into the soul. Uh, you, you you use it once and that's the end of it. Uh, you won't write again. You won't have that much soul. So what one is about as much as you need. Okay. So the next the triggers. Triggers. I run four four draw. So I have two different types of draw. This has the move move itself into the soul to give a unit three k power, and this is the, just the vanilla one. So what I like with this is uh, since all your great tools are nine k and they are your primary rear guards. Having uh you might be able to give two stacks of four k boost onto one, making it seventeen k. However, most of your effects need you to break twenty k in order to gain a legit effect. So, uh, seventeen with a three k boost makes it just nice twenty. Doesn't break twenty one, yes, but at least it, uh, uh, if your if your opponent does let it through, you get effect rather than just dealing a damage or uh killing a rig or whatever. So that's why I still like this. However, I won't, I won't run four because it's only a four K boost compared to this five K boost. I said five K with a four K power up is a legit attacker. Can I still run this? Next, uh, it will just be eight crit after this. However, uh, you can have any other four crit, any any four crit from here. But you still have. I think you must run this since um. Sometimes a game you might want to do that that attack you might have a balanced tiger but you don't have a a great one or great two that you that 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 uh you want to kill off early game, so uh sometimes I just call this as a as a my target to be destroyed since it searches for itself. It's in fact is uh when it dies in the end phase, make our blast one search for a copy of itself from your deck. So yes, you do minus one trigger from your deck, but uh I would prefer that trigger out than. Then having to be just a ten k guy in my hand, I uh, be able to swing an extra attack or break another um attack level uh, power level or whatever. I would prefer that. This deck since this deck is a more aggressive deck rather than a defensive deck compared to the 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 legion uh legion great nature. <coughs> Lastly, you have the four heals because you don't wanna die. Okay, so that's the main deck. So uh, next you have the extra deck or the keys or whatever. So your main strike would be the Managamar. I don't know how I'm pronouncing it, but to me it's Managamar. So it's a Persona flip, Persona Jason Persona card. So okay, so its skill is uh, you may Jason Persona. Flip one of itself face up, and after that, if you have two face up G zone units in the G in the G zone, you may uh choose two of your miniature units, give them four k power and the skill, where if they they are attack including the boost, reaches twenty k, you get to uh it, your opponent can guard with great ones or higher, making it a glory maelstrom. So that's what's so good together with your crown tigers and your taskmasters. Um. This is uh your finisher for the game, so and uh, you will use it once and be and max twice. Which is like, okay, man, you can only use it twice, but but you should have killed them by the time you finish using the second one. If not, uh, your deck really really just lost uh as much all lost quite a big part of its push for game. So this is more or less your finisher. You need to finish it the turn you do this. So with this, sometimes when I draft check critical triggers, 
I do power it to my rear guards since your rear guards are able to withstand with, together with Crayon Tiger and uh, Taskmaster so sometimes with this since, uh, rear guards are glory maelstroms so that makes it more lethal so I have I always have a I'll swing my Vanguard first, give the critical power here, swing at this, and then have my Crayon Tigers or Taskmasters withstand it for another one. So this will potentially be 4 crit compared to the 2 crit, 1 crit, 1 crit, so that's 4 crit too, but uh, come on, 4 plus 5 is f okay, 4 plus 5 is 5 crit, so there's a bit more, more crit, one more crit, but yeah, because guarding a Vanguard is easy since. since you can still throw perfect guards. So this one I just put it to the side and it's a cool move. Learn it from blouse. Blouse and shit. And the uh, the original restanders. Vergapolis. Okay, so other great trees are uh, great uh, sorry, great force. I have the tree phoenix. It scales when it attacks, you just give two units 4k and then retire them. So this is your uh early game uh power booster. So this is why since it retires two things. That's why I you really need the penguin and the duck bill both. So as to you don't minus off and at least break even from this. And one blizzard. So blizzard is just there in case that like, you finish all your managamars and, and you know that your opponent doesn't have a perfect guy and you there's no other choice, you just go into this and just count blast one and try and swing and hope. Okay, that's why I like this, and I will run Emmers because it is that you you are you have a clear idea of how you want to use your strike. So I decided this this or this this two uh, you won't have a time to strike Emmers first or Emmers, and uh, I, by the time you have this out, I would prefer that one cow blast to boost it by more for more than ten k. That's why I run the Blizzard in this. So this is the Great Nature Strike deck profile with super cool sleeves. So uh. Update on the DP stuff. We are going to have a session tomorrow, so uh, there might there will be videos up tomorrow on the D, the new the new DP stuff. So do look out for that, and I hope you enjoy.